the story of a man who performed exorcisms 160,000 times. Emmerth was also interviewed for the second episode of True Horror with Anthony Head, presented by Anthony Head. He explained he would never perform an exorcism based solely on someone's claims of possession, always directs people to psychiatrists and doctors first, and that when he sees someone is not possessed but the person still insists, he replies. You have no devil. If you have a problem, talk to a good vet. Emmer wrote two memoirs of his time as an exorcist. An exorcist tells his story and an exorcist, more stories. The books include references to official Roman Catholic teachings on demonology while the main emphasis is on Emmerth's experience as an exorcist. Both include references to the diagnosis and treatment of spiritual problems. The books briefly cover the topics of demonic contraction and curses. He states, a curse can originate from such things as maledictions by close relatives, a habit of blaspheming, membership in Freemasonry, spiritic or magic practices, and so on. He attributed the number of exorcisms performed to his opinion that people have lost the faith, and superstition, magic, Satanism, or Ouija boards have taken its place which then opens all the doors to the presence of demons. Emmerth offered the following guidelines to those exercising the charism of exorcism. Any such person must be highly regarded for his prayer life, faith, acts of charity, and judgment. In addition, he must rely solely on the word of God and traditional prayer, be completely detached from monetary concerns, profoundly humble and treasure obscurity. Emmerth believed that a person may be possessed by more than one demon at once, sometimes numbering in the thousands, which is what accounts for the high number of reputed demons exorcised. When asked whether the devil can strike inside the Vatican City, Emmerth stated, he has tried already. He did it in 1981 by attacking John Paul II by working with those who armed Ali Agga. Edward Peters, a professor of canon law, finds Amrith's claim to have personally performed 30,000 exorcisms over nine years astounding. Even accepting Amrith's claim that only 94 of his 30,000 exorcisms represented full-blown possession, that would have required roughly one case a month to be thoroughly examined and processed over nine years with hardly a break. In October 2000, it was reported he had performed over 50,000 exorcisms which ranged from a few minutes to several hours in length. In March 2010, he said that the number had increased to 70,000. By May 2013, he said he had performed 160,000 exorcisms in the course of his ministry. According to Amrith, each exorcism does not represent a victim of possession, but rather each exorcism is counted as a prayer or ritual alone and some possessed victims required hundreds of exorcisms. Both Father Amrith's father and grandfather were lawyers. His contributions during World War II as a valiant fighter for the Italian resistance movement were followed by his pursuit of legal studies. Additionally, Father Amrith served as a deputy to Giulio Andreotti, a prominent figure in Italian politics who would later become prime minister within the influential political organization of the Young Christian Democrats. Emmerth died at the age of 91 on September 16, 2016, a short time after he was hospitalized for pulmonary complications. Emmerth was born in Modena, Emilia Romagna, Italy on May 1, 1925. He was ordained a Roman Catholic priest in 1954 and was appointed an exorcist of the Diocese of Rome in June 1986, under the tutelage of Candido Amantini. He was a member of the Society of St. Paul, the congregation founded by Giacomo Alberian in 1914. In 1990, he founded the International Association of Exorcists and was president until his retirement in 2000. Gabrielle Amrith SSP May 1, 1925, September 16, 2016, was an Italian Catholic priest of the Pelines and an exorcist for the Diocese of Rome. Amrith, along with five other priests, founded the International Association of Exorcists. His work in demonology and exorcism gained him international recognition. Over the course of his career, 
Father Amrith claimed to have performed tens of thousands of exorcisms and became one of the most prominent and controversial figures in the Catholic Church in the modern era.